You should be ready now to complete a lesson in vocabulary skills building through English 8. So let's take a look at how to complete each lesson. The vocabulary skills unit is composed of lessons. Each lesson is a worksheet style approach to mastering the skills of vocabulary understanding. The lessons are listed here, but of course your lesson will be sent to you through Doctopus. So look for it in your Share With Me folder in Google Drive. Let's open a blank lesson. The lesson document will be listed as number one, number two, and so on. It will contain a lesson. The lesson for the day indicates a single root. The root is a part of a word that comes from an ancient language, Latin or Greek. In this case, the root is seed, seed, cess. That means that this root could appear in three different spellings. That root means to go or yield, and it comes from Latin. So you are looking for words that contain this root. The vocabulary lesson will ask you to find a word and analyze it and discuss it and write sentences with it. Then it will ask you to partner with another student to do the same thing over again with a different word. Finally, you will list your word on a spreadsheet with everybody else in the class to create a list of words that use this root. Let's take a look at the resources that you have available. Of course, do not forget about the vocabulary skills primer. This textbook for your vocabulary unit will help you understand each of the steps of the, of the vocabulary lesson. But more importantly, let's check the model example. Here on the My Big Campus bundle, you have an access to a model example that will show you exactly how to complete this lesson. The model example not only shows the lesson completed, but also contains helpful annotations to help you understand how to complete each task and some helpful reminders about how to complete them properly. So let's take a look through the lesson piece by piece. You've just read that you are working with seed, seed, cess, which means to go or to yield. Your first step is to find a word that uses that root. Keep in mind that the word may not begin with that root. In fact, in the case of seed, seed, cess, you'll often find that that root comes after a prefix. So you'll find a word by looking around the dictionary. You find the word recede. That word is a verb, so I highlight verb. I will link two dictionary definitions. And note that I will not just copy and paste the URLs. Rather, I will create a link out of the words link one and link two. Find two dictionary definitions. Use Merriam-Webster's, dictionary.com, the free dictionary, any online dictionary will do. Link those right here. Next, I will find a picture that demonstrates the word. In this case, I'm using the word recede, which can also be receding if I conjugate it here to be the present participle. I found this picture of a woman with a receding hairline. I've copied and pasted that picture into my document, and then I've written a sentence a kind of caption for that picture which uses the word. The woman was shocked to see that her hairline was receding. Your responsibility here is to find a picture that uses the word and to write the sentence that uses the word as well. Next, I must explain the origin in a complete sentence and write the sentence below. The origin sentence is a fairly simple formula. Look at my sentence. The word recede comes from the Latin word sedere, which means to withdraw or go. Where have I found that information? In the dictionary.com entry under word origin. Would you like more information about that? Then refer to the vocabulary skills primer. Don't forget, I'm glossing over some of the detailed information here because it is contained within that textbook. The annotation in the model example shows you the formula to use here. The word blank comes from the whatever language word blank, which means blank. If you fill in the blanks by using the information from dictionary.com or any other dictionary that contains word origin, you can write the sentence that is required of the lesson. Next, you will analyze the word. Analyze means taking it apart into its prefix, root, and suffix. Sometimes you will have multiple prefixes, multiple roots, or multiple suffixes. So when you look at the lesson, you'll see several blanks. Only use the blanks you need. 
In the case of recede, I am using a prefix, re, and the root, seed. I have no suffix, and I have no multiple prefixes or roots, so I leave those blank and only complete re and seed. My next task is to transform the word into a different part of speech. I've seen that recede is a verb, but I also know from reading my vocabulary skills primer that receded, the past participle, is an adjective. So I type receded and I note adjective. If you don't understand words in this way, look at the vocabulary skills primer or check the dictionary to see. Dictionaries often include transformations of the words in the entry. Finally, I'm ready to write a sentence. I refer to skill four in the vocabulary skills primer and I write a sentence that uses my word. I want to make sure to italicize the word in my sentence. The sentence must demonstrate effective understanding of the word and creation of context clues. Again, for more information, check the vocabulary skills primer. Once I've done all of these tasks, I'm finished with the first part of the lesson, which is to do this on my own. The next step will be to do the same thing with a different word with a partner. And finally, I must enter the words that I have found into a spreadsheet. That spreadsheet is not available on my big campus. Rather, it will be sent to you via Doctopus. The spreadsheet looks like this. Once you have finished your lesson, you should enter the words that you have found into this spreadsheet. Look at my example. The root is seed, and I have found the word recede. It is a verb. I paste the definition. I analyze it for prefix, root, suffix. I transform it as many times as I can. Receded and receding are both transformations of recede. I have no other transformation, so I leave that blank. And then I list the number of students or groups that have found this word. I'm the first person to find it. I haven't seen it anywhere else on the spreadsheet, so I enter a number one. Check the spreadsheet to see if another group might have entered the same word that you have entered. If so, do not enter your word again. Simply note right here the next number. So if three others have entered this, then you would go to the number four or the number five and so on. Keep that list going. Once you've completed your entry on the spreadsheet, you're finished with the vocabulary lesson. Again, do not forget to refer to the model example when you're completing the lesson and to refer to the vocabulary skills primer. Both will help you. Review the video as needed. Review the vocabulary skills primer and any other videos contained on the My Big Campus bundle. Complete the lesson and always ask for help.